Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Still looking at the Google Capture the Flag competition that just finished up a little bit ago on the last weekend. Um, shout out to Live Overflow, who was willing to take a look at this game with me, um, and hopefully he'll be releasing some cool stuff um, very, very soon to cover some of the challenges that he took a look at, and I kind of took a look at with him, but he was a real rock star on, so check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. But let's jump in. Um, this next challenge I want to cover in the beginner's quest is another miscellaneous challenge at the top path. Um, it's called Media DB. Um, it's a miscellaneous challenge, as I've already said. It looks like there's a custom database stuff. You can read out the the, the prompt, but it, it has a uh, netcat connection and it also has an attachment. So we might be getting a binary, getting a script or program we can actually take a look at here. So let's create a directory for this stuff and work with it. MediaDB. Let's create a connect script so I can netcat into that real easily. Mark that to connect. Um, and let's download this attachment. GCTF MediaDB. Cool. It's pretty easy to tell that this is another zip archive. Yep, as expected. Um, media.zip or whatever, call it whatever we want. Let's unzip that and we have MediaDB. Oh, it's a Python script. Okay, cool. Let's see that in um, Sublime. Bang! Here we go. Python 2.7, you can tell from the Shebang line. Importing SQLite. Okay, so we've got a database here. Um, that banner uh, that looks like it allows us to add a song, play the artist's play song, etc., etc. Let's let's interact with the program for one thing. Let's actually do this connect thing. Uh, I guess I don't know why I did that because now I actually do want to know what these functions do. Let's let's read the source code. <laughs> um, opening OAuth token as file descriptor flag equals okay. So flag is the contents of this OAuth token file, and Okay, the connection, the database is running in memory, neat, whatever. Um, okay, and the OAuth tokens is what has the flag. So that table OAuth tokens has the flag for us. And we have media, which actually has artist and song. And we have function that will print stuff out for us. We'll have the functions to print out a playlist. Okay, it prints out the banner. It sends that along. And then there's a big loop that gets the banner for us, gets the menu anyway, um, reads in our input, and then determines what we've entered the choice. And okay, so if it's anything in that menu, if not, it will obviously tell us no, like six, okay, eight, blah, blah, blah. They will determine if we have the correct input. And if one, if we're asking for artist name, reads in a song name, and it runs a SQL statement here, insert into media with double quotes and it's using a format so python format is not as bad as concatenating but it is still putting that putting our, our arguments in there raw so but that's wrapped in double quotes here um that is inserting into the database though that's good to note other artist two what is that option so add a song and play from an artist, insert into, select these things. Select uses single quotes here. Okay, that's peculiar. Select from song uses single quotes. Number four. Select artist song from media where artist is this. Single quotes. Huh, and that's all, okay, and otherwise it's by. So that's peculiar because we're inserting where we have double quotes as our barrier, but we're selecting where we're having single quotes as our barrier. So we could mess around with that. Because we could we could just use a double quotes or single quotes to like break out of that, but it looks like they're doing a good job to replace those characters, like these lines here, artists replace or song replace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, hmm. 
But because of that discrepancy where we have double quotes on one side and single quotes on the other, we can insert into the database with single quotes breaking and we can have SQL injection just like that. Let's uh, let's try. Let's <laughs> let's give that a go. Um, let's kill Sublime Text now that we have an idea and attack vector. Um, let's connect and add a song. Artist name John wins, right? Just for just to see the proof of concept. Okay, we, yeah, we can add stuff to the database. So let's add artist name John, and then. Oh, artist is where they're actually. If I if I were to shuffle songs, artist is what they're actually querying for. So song name can be subscribe. How about that? Whatever. <laughs> for wins, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Add song. Let's do John. Um, single quote. Union select one two. Because what are they? What were they selecting? Song and artist, right? So let's have a comment there. And anything for song name. Now if I were to run this. Oh, looks like we get two by one. <laughs> looks like our union union select worked. So we can, and now that we know that, that it works for us, let's try and add a song where we can do John single quote union select select OAuth token from OAuth tokens and then two comment comment because OAuth token had the flag in that table OAuth tokens is where that was stored so song name can be lol subscribe again because <laughs> SQL injection super cool um, let's shuffle the artist and just like that we get our flag so neat let's steal that That, I think, is a pretty interesting catch, checking out the quotes that it's using, um, and we can get around that, since we that was the discrepancy between a double quote and a single quote. Um, if you wanted to, you could write a get flag script for this. I'm not going to go through that process, but we, since we're connecting with a service, I would use Pwn Tools. Um, send it that exploit, quote-unquote, or send it that technique or that bug, take advantage of that vulnerability, and, I don't know, print out just your flag. Sweet! Let's uh, mark this as complete. And we're done with the MediaDB challenge. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, check out Live Overflow if you haven't already. Hopefully we can do more content together again soon. Uh, or at least be still interacting and still talking because he's an awesome YouTuber. And uh, I'm really happy to be getting, getting together with him. So, hey, if you like this video, please press that like button. Uh, if you'd like to maybe leave me a comment, let me know what you think, what else you'd like to see, what I can do better with, please do. If you're willing to subscribe, and I'm grateful for it. So, see you soon.